Okay, this is not how it looked before. Can still see that tower off in the distance. I hardly see anything now with the smoke. Alright. Let's just have a look around, you know? Not just, uh, not just run back because we can. Oh, we can't go up here anymore, can we? Yep, it's blocked off. Well, that solves that. Oh, but I can go in here. Because I opened this door. Whoa. Okay, that's a glitch. She should open the door, because I, I unlocked it. I, I unlocked this before, but now it's... Even though I unlocked it before, it's just invisible. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, well let's... Let's go over here. At least I shouldn't complain. At least I can get over here. <laughs> no, I should complain. That's a, um... That's a serious glitch right there. First, this thing should be up already, because I pulled that... I, I picked that thing up. And second, I shouldn't be... It shouldn't be invisible, and I walk through it. That's just ridiculous. So that's, um... Ugh. That's a shame, to have, like, little mistakes like that in the game. I also would like it if she should just bend her head down a little bit and go in there. Well, I guess there's no point going in there. Never mind, that's that's silly. I don't see why she doesn't climb up here though. She should be able to climb up that. Well I guess they did yeah, never mind. They didn't they didn't Yeah, it's not that kind of game. It's not Assassin's Creed. Should we hear this again? Not when say that what we see as a limbo is the bridge that goes from the world of men to the world of the gods. Right. For now, they say the frost giants and mountain giants cannot cross it. But they say that when Ragnarok comes, not a thing in this world will be safe. The Rainbow Bridge will break under the onslaught of the fire giants riding on flaming steeds. Senua, I have seen the fire of Surti spread far and wide, and to our lands. Ragnarok is coming. That's where I came from. That's so weird, so I actually had to walk through the glitch in order to get out. Because otherwise... If I didn't walk through the glitch, I'd just be stuck. Right? Black one, because he is like Caesar's blood. 
The North wouldn't believe that existed at all. Right, I remember going here now. here and this is the way back up to where I just was but we don't want to go that way so we'll go back This is a complex path. It was so quick getting there though. It felt like so so fast being the fire level. Felt much easier than the illusion level. Right, and so this way leads back across. And this way Yeah, from the last time I was here, it was nice. But now everything's burnt to a crisp. It's like little minor glitches that I keep catching in the corner of my eye. It bothers me. Maybe I won't die again. You don't know that. Creepy voice in my head. Right, Senua? This way now? I can't remember which way I came from. Right, I came from here. 
I can't go back. I have to go through that no that doorway that's open now for me. I think it must not have been open before. Let's go. We did it. Very, very nice. Let's hear the story one more time. The Northmen see that in the beginning there was nothing. This is the one that ends with a cow. Bitter cold to the north. Fiery hot to the sun. They say the cold formed ice which melted from the sparks from the sun. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. And the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a car whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a car that you would expect in that. <laughs> I was at this point. We're opening it. Saving quite soon. Truth? Just a little further. There is no one here but the me. But you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. God get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching you when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Disorienting to lose they control like but this. Your promise. Even death will keep you apart. Through his darkness, you will find him in your sword still beats our heart. You fought for love and spoiled by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. They can break you, 
another promise. Even death will keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find me. In your sword still beats. A heart. It's disorienting to have control taken away from you like that. It's like suddenly I'm watching a movie instead of playing a game, you know, it's, it's a little frustrating. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollow of your eye. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it that brought it near. Led it to you. An endless suffering worse than better. And you wanted to surrender, abandoned to the fighting with the gods. No, no. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to the door. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Alright. Sounds good. Party time. Once I um, got used to it again, it was pretty easy. Open sesame. 
every day that you were willing to die on them. Brings out that bunch. Get up. You say Josh? That was that's creepy. They're talking to me. They said Josh. You're going down now, punk. That's right, I am strong. hit each other. Didn't I finish him? I think I did. Huh. I can't figure out which way I came from. Let's just open both doors and see. Is it this way I came from? Maybe. Right now, it won't open. Is this where I came from? This is probably the way forward. What is that? Look at that. That's weird. What is that? And maybe there's some way up there. I'm gonna stop playing soon, I think. Just wanna Yeah, this must be the way back. 
but I can't go that way. She won't. Open, she won't even try to open the door. Which would say something about it. Let the voices talk in my ear and be like, "She can't go back. She won't. She mustn't." That's what this would the voices sound like, somewhat. Okay, we got three letters to find, and I think I won't have too much trouble. But let's not jinx it. Maybe I will. Fish SX. That's a band, right? The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets. You will find yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost to the X zone. There it is. Okay, I'm, I'm in the right spot. Yes. Yes. Come on. I did it. One down, two to go. Let's go. More legends. However you come to the gold cover bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will, she will ask, ask your name. She will she ask, ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The North, the North tell, tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giant. Nope. Mm. Man, I love this game. How will I get somewhere new to try to find a fish? Whoa. Okay, if you insist. Nice. And that's how we do it. I think once I get through this door, assuming it saves and doesn't throw me into a fight, uh, I will um, call it quits for the night. <sighs> There's my S. Okay, we're not quite there yet.
No, we're not quite there. The fish is still there. That's how I can tell. Eventually the fish will disappear and it will be just the S. There it is. So it must be nearby. Must be near. Is that it? No. Where is my S? Where is my S? There you are. Yes. I knew it. Easy. I don't I don't know how people have troubles with these puzzles. Uh but, but then again I shouldn't I shouldn't say that so soon. I might get to the hard one next or soon. And then I'll be embarrassed. But so far I like all the puzzles a lot. Um I don't have any problem with any of them. Here we are. Another, another one. Uh, Let's hear it. Hella possesses large dwelling places in Hella. Tall are her walls, high. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize. Half black and half the color of flesh. And her face is menacing. So I'm pretty sure it must be visible from here. And there it is. Easy. Nice. Okay. Tell me of Hella again. Hella possesses large dwelling places in Hella. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flamings of a funeral pyre. They say. Scary. Okay. Let's hear this one again too. However you come to the old cover bridge that leads to hell, you may be found it guarded by a giant test. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The north tell of the warrior woman of Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd. Just like me, more or less. Let's go. Damn it, if I don't want to go a little further. Yeah, let's go just a little further. One more save. Then I gotta stop. One more. Mm. 
Wow. Oh, look at that brightness. We're moving. Get up. The gods will punish you for this. Get up. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the gods. There we go. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Ugh. Oh, I wanted to make her swing the sword. It Hella broke the sword. We did not stand a chance against Hella. They should try to make it a little more interactive. Like these cinemas could probably be creatively made into gameplay parts. They say dreams are visions of our memories, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming? She's going nuts. Oh, I wish they would let me do a little bit. Like, let me, let me put the, let me like make her hand move or something to put the knife on her face. Except they just accept it. Not, this is just gonna keep disappointing me if, if I don't. Is 
to the end. Well, we don't have anything better to do. The obvious thing to do is go towards him. What's over here? We got a little fire. Maybe I'll die though if I don't go towards him. That would suck. I like this running style. She's injured bad. See, the obvious thing is to go towards him, but what if I go this way? There's really nothing to do except go that way. But let's see what's by the water. Yeah, she won't go into the water. So the only thing we can do is go to Dillian. I'm kind of annoyed when the voices are like, Go, do this thing. No, don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. But then there's really only one thing I can do. So it's like, stop telling me, stop trying to give me the, like, illusion that I have a choice when I don't, you know? Because that's annoying. Like, really, I have no choice but to go to Dillian. And you're making me think about that. By telling me not to do it, and then I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do it. But I can't not do it. <laughs> Dillian, except he's glowing energy. Maybe Dillian was always glowing energy. Yeah, I don't think it's him. We told you it was a trick. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Next save, I'm gonna stop. Come on, Senua. Woman up. You got this. Let's go kick some ass. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager. Father Zimbal made sure of that. Aww. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own. Collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out on the ugly plains. That was her world. Like this one. I can go in the water now. And learn. Only this far out. Damn it. Alright, let's get back. Being in the water is a bit frustrating because you, you can't quite tell where the walls are. And then you get mad because you're like, ah, I want to go that way, but you can't. Alright, well, that's about it for water.
<sighs> it's a beautiful game. Amazing visuals. Where to now? To Dillion, I suppose. Dillion, Dillion, Dillion. <laughs> I can't see anything. What are they saying? What tree? I don't see the tree. But there's another puzzle there. The North Tower of a Great Hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother, King Sigmund, wants it, but Sigmund refuses it. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an armor, not a warm weather. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his covenant sword, and readies them for execution. Damn. Well, all right. Let's get up there and look at the new puzzle. I see this is a part where it would be nice to be able to look up more because I'd like to see what's up there but it won't let me look up the way I'd like to that's frustrating let's go as far out as we can and then look up look at that I want to go there Maybe I'll be able to go there later. I hope so. Even from here, I can't look up high enough to see that. And that would be an awesome thing to look up at. So, I mean, that's like a big game flaw. Not being able to look up at the, at the tower that you're walking under. Like, huge, huge. And, and, you know, other games will let you look up that high. So, it's like, ah, oh, what a, what a fuck up. You know, like, what a... What an idiotic decision, like, you know, there's no reason I should, shouldn't be able to look up. I bet they designed it too, like, I bet if I were able to just look up there, it would look great. But they just, they won't let you, and it, it just kills me. Alright, well, let's get up there. I'm sure I'll have to come down here anyway. Uh. 
Tell us some more stories, Drith. Death was signaled that his brother was seized. <coughs> but the king's wife is signaled as his sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not on mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravens, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a serpent with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. My guess is she ate Sigmund's face? And Sigmund was like, ah, my face! Uh, sorry, sorry, not very mature. Here we are. Huh. I thought there was going to be a puzzle here. <laughs> Is that where it came from? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Am I on the opposite side? Did I make it all the way across the bridge? I guess I did. Yes. That's good. Except I don't have a sword. And I can't fight. Easily. Like I, I wouldn't want to fight one of those things hand to hand. What would I do if one of those monsters came for me now? Maybe they don't even think I'm worth attacking. Mm -hmm. Um, let's have a look what's over here. Our sweet Dillian. Where has he run off to? Okay. Now I've got my bearings. I want to check what's in this thing, if anything. Dillion, where far art thou, Dillion? I mean, wh where are you, Dillion? That's what I meant. I'm serious, though. Dillion is a porn star name. Look it up. Google it. Google Dillion. It's a porn star name. It's not like a common name or anything, and it has a 
specific meaning and it's like there's this famous Dillion that's the first for Google search you'll find. Yikes! Pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. What? That's insane. After his escape, Sigmund lives like a hidden fire. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, has assisted for his revenge. Sigmund is one sick fuck. Damn. So his sister catches his new plan. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Damn. I can't believe Dillian and the Sigma did that. That's like really gross. He like made out with a wolf and like did weird S and M sex with a wolf. He's a, he's he's a crazy motherfucker. And then he like ripped out a chains with a wolf's tongue by biting on it. That guy is like insane. I do not want to meet Sigmund. Never ever. But I do like Sigmund in that game. What's that game? Soul Calibur. Am I lost? What am I doing? Where is Delia? I feel like I've been walking forever. Oh. Look at that tree. Oh, maybe that's, that's the tree. Yes, that's Dillian's tree. I see the light now. I see the light by the tree and that's where Dillian is. I see. Okay, so we gotta go there. To that tree. And then, uh, save video clip.